Hey, what's going on? It's TJ Lance here. And today we're going to be talking about the song Cerise by Ghost. But before we actually go ahead and analyze the lyrics of this song, we're going to look at a little background context of the band, the name of the song itself, along with its structure to the music video. Ghost is a Swedish heavy metal band formed in southern Sweden in 2008, easily recognizable due to the eccentric stage presence. They wear face-concealing demon costumes of all the same, while the singer named Papa Emeritus dons a demonic pope outfit. In a nutshell, a band that worships Satan in a playful yet hypnotic way that mainstream audiences all alike can enjoy without feeling like they're listening to something that makes them uncomfortable, like black metal. Whether they truly worship Satan or not is debated. Cerise means church in Old English. It was released as a lead single from the group's third studio album, Meloria. This song is considered to the band to be the band's breakthrough song into the U.S., peaking at number four on mainstream rock charts. It also won the Grammy Award for the Best Metal Performance in 2016. It's probably based on that, if you live in the U.S., one of the songs that you discovered with Ghost, to get into Ghost with in the first place. The song's music video was inspired by the 1976 film Carrie, the video shows the band as school children performing the song at a school talent show, with a boy playing as Papa Emeritus III. As he sings the song, he is focused on a girl in the crowd, with the two sharing some type of psychic connection. As the song climaxes, the principal tries to remove the boy from the stage. The girl angrily rises to her feet and reveals Carrie-like psychic powers by mentally forcing the principal to release the boy and then using her powers at random on the rest of the crowd. People run from the auditorium screaming while the girl continues to smile. After the song ends, a man and woman, presumably the boy's parents, stand up and cheer for the band with glee. So now let's move on to the actual lyric interpretation. Ghost likes to exhibit different religious slash satanic themes throughout their concerts and songs. With this, it was once said by a nameless school, the name of their band members who they choose not to identify, which is another part of the theme of Ghost, said that their whole goal is to bring everybody together, you know, become like a big family. And this song, Cerise, does just that. The song can be seen as a hymn, a song about beauty and belonging, as you notice with more of the melodic structure rather than the completely thrash and aggressive riffs that a typical satanic band would like to throw in. This relates to the mainstream more, to you and me. Right from the first line, you can see that the band is trying to reach out to those that they believe are outsiders. I feel your presence amongst us. And feeling is such an intristic sense that we can actually see that the singer is trying to create a link or a bond between the listener, us, and they already have, it's just the listener is not aware yet. And Amongst Us shows us the broader context, showing the large group of mainstream society as a whole. And then the next two lines come out, you cannot hide in the darkness. And then can you hear the rumble? Almost like this momentous occasion of a, of a climax is about to happen. And you can view this through the eyes and context of attending a ghost concert, you know? worshipping in their satanic cult or religion. I would say religion more so. You can see it almost like an invitation to this momentous occasion. And then we have the epitome of empathy and community, the chorus. I can feel the thunder that's breaking in your heart. I can see through the scars inside you. The Papa is reaching out one to one, human to human, saying, I feel your pain. I've been there too. And then we have Our Merge is Eternal, showing that once you get part of the ghost family, you can't get out, but obviously you can get out. But, you know, it's just showing more devotion towards the ghost family, the ghost, ghost religion, the satanic religion itself. And then for the final bit before the last chorus, 
Um, can't you see that you're lost without me? This can be interpreted in many ways. You know, without this ghost family, you're nothing. You know, you've already joined. You can't, you can't not unjoin. That was more the darker kind of menacing theme that a satanic religion would kind of have towards a person in the audience. Basically, the song in a nutshell is about being part of this big family, joining this giant movement, you know. And this is, this is a good thing that this song made it to mainstream rock as number four, because this is a way that they actually managed to break into a different crowd and managed in to bring more audience towards them. It's definitely one of my favorites. If you like this video, give me a subscribe, share it, like it, and recommend another song that you'd like me to look at down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. TJ Lance out.